Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in today's video, we're doing a batch review and we've got another one here from EcoFlow. This is their updated Delta 2. If you haven't seen the review of the Delta 1 on the channel, you can head back and check that one out. This has got a few updates in here that I think is definitely worthwhile checking out if you're in the market for something like this. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is everything that comes in the box. You have the unit itself. It looks pretty similar to the old one. There is some a uh, few updates as far as the design design and branding with fan vents and what have you. We get uh, a, a manual with all the bits and pieces. Then as far as cables and everything, we do get our DC charger. We have our AC plug here and then the sort of unknown little DC power plug there as well. Now, if we have a bit of a look around the unit, the first thing you'll know if you've seen any of the EcoFlow gear is it is nice and compact. And I really like that about the EcoFlow units. We've got two big grab handles on the ends, making moving the sucker around nice and easy. Weight wise, this thing comes in at about the 12 kilo mark. So not too hefty to lug about. And then size wise, we're coming in at about 400 by about 211 by about 280. Now, one of the big updates with this unit is the battery chemistry that sits inside here. This is now using the LiPo 4. And ultimately what that means is you're gonna get the most cycles out of this compared to some of the other types of lithium chemistry. With the LiPo 4, it ultimately means this is a thousand watt hour unit more than enough for day trips and perfect for extended camping trips particularly when you have the ability to put some power in while out on the road this will give you 3,000 full charge ups and discharge downs 3,000 cycles of those and it would only reduce your battery capacity to around that sort of 80 percent mark of its total now having a look around the unit we have the same screen that comes with all of the EcoFlow units which is nice and clear hopefully that comes through on the camera we then have have all of our DC stuff going on at the front. We have a couple of USB A's. We have a couple of USB A's that are a fast charge. We then have a couple of USB C 100 watt outputs, and that's awesome to see. Even the new iPhones finally, right, have come out with USB C. So that's that's really great and good to see two of those. We then, if we spin it around, we have a new extra battery port here on the side. Looks a little bit like that. That's so you can upgrade and double or even triple your capacity with these guys as well if you're looking for that extra juice on the back here to polish off our outputs we have four ac outputs here as well and these guys will do a combined total of 1800 watts and they have a surge of up to 2700 watts which is awesome because anything with a big startup current like your power tools and that kind of thing this guy will run so that's awesome we have a couple of little dc plugs here that are three amps there as you can see and then on the back here we have our standard cigarette lighter plug there to run things like fridges and that kind of thing. Up the top here is our combined inputs. So we have our AC plug here in the middle that we'll test in just a sec. And then we have our DC inputs. Now this will do a maximum of 15 amps. This will do your solar and your car input that we'll also test in just a sec. One other thing to note here is you do have Bluetooth, right? As well as Wi-Fi. So you can pair that to your phone, to your app. This is kind of what it looks like. There is a couple of different modes. It gives you a bit of a view of how many hours remaining. It live updates. It's super fast there as well. You can totally control this via the app, which is pretty cool. Right, so we've had a bit of an overview of the unit. I reckon from here, let's work out how to get some power into the unit and see how it performs. So first up, let's test the car charger. Now remember, this is up to 10 amps from the car charger. Now when we turn this on, just got it plugged into the back of Stormod here. We turn on our panel, we should see our app update here. As soon as it kicks in, should start to see some energy flow. Here we go, we've just kicked in there. So we can see some energy coming in from our input. That's pretty cool to see. And then similarly on the front here, you can see that we have our input coming in there at about that 100 watts. So that's our DC going in there. Now I reckon from here, let's get some solar going in. We've got a couple of different blankets here. We've got an EcoFlow. These are the 160 watts from them. And then just a 200 watt hard panel sitting over there as well. Now I've just plugged that around in the back. We'll be able to see that update in just a sec. There it goes. So we've just got the EcoFlow unit just plugged in there. Now we're not going for world records of output here. The, the solar panels aren't exactly in the best position there. We're just we're just simulating what, what will happen, right? So we've got some power coming in here from the 160 watt panel. We'll plug the other guy in in just a sec, see if we can get a little bit more juice just because of the slightly bigger panel. But we can see we're working there. We've got 80 odd watts going in. Now I reckon from here, let's go over to sort of the main event with the charging, which is the full AC charge. 
So from there, let's get over into the shed, plug it in and see what happens. Right, we're in the shed. We've got the AC plugged in the back with the supplied cable. One of the things that I really like about the EcoFlow is the fact that there's no brick. It's just the cable. There's no mucking around with anything else. So from here, let's give it a test. Let's plug her in. Well, let's turn her on rather see what happens here so now the cool thing about this is you do have the extreme charge and that's going to get you up to 1200 watts like you can see here going in which is insane that is so good we'll have a look here on our little app and you can just see how fast that is going to charge we're putting 1.2 kilowatts that's our 1200 watts going back into the unit and the best thing about that is if you're about to head off on a trip that's packing time like I've said in previous videos, 44 minutes or so to charge this thing back up. Maybe you didn't charge it last time. By the time you pack the car, this guy is full. Right, so we've tested how we get power into the unit. Now from here, I reckon let's test getting some power out of it. So first up, let's uh, let's do some basic stuff and charge the laptop. Pretty simple there. I'm keen to sort of load this up like we do in all the other tests. So we're getting our 60 watts back out. We can see that drawing out. We've got our trusty just our little fridge. This is our 45 watt job. We'll plug our DC in the back. We've got our fridge turning on there, which is great. We have a look in here. There's some extra juice coming out there. We can see where our power source has been, been pulled from there as well. From here, let's fire up some extra stuff. I reckon let's get into some AC. So I've got our trusty H2O frother here. We are coming in at about that 500 watt mark there so let's get this guy going here as well and boom there we go we've got a big output we can see on the front here as well on the screen the extra items turning up and then similarly over the side we've got some power coming out from we're still charging the dc we've got some ac going on there as well and it's saying at 500 odd watts we're going to last only about 39 minutes i reckon before that stopped let's keep firing it up let's plug in some of these lights which are full 500 watt jobs these uh, old halogens, or new old halogens, like you can see there. We have fans going crazy. Let's check out our power. We're drawing 1.5, 1500 watts. Still doing it. We're not gonna do it forever though. <laughs> only 14 minutes. We're only at 41% capacity, but that gives you an idea. It is, it's doing it all right, that's for sure. One other thing I wanna test here before our water is frothed is plug in some charge at the same time. So I'll get around here. This is just our solar over there. And we'll see what happens. And should be able to do both of these at the same time. And there we go, it's just flicked in. So that, that's an improvement over the last one because I noticed the old one, it wouldn't always display very well there. And sometimes it's a little bit laggy, but this fix, uh, picks up quite quickly and you can see, it looks like our milk froth is uh, stopped heating there. We just got a bit of froth because we've dropped down to the kilowatt there. But this is a really cool app. I like the update here that it shows all the power coming in. If we plugged into the, the wall there as well, we'd be able to see that going in. And then how the power is coming out and where it's going. We've got DC and, and the AC. And the cool thing is I can turn off, gloves don't help there. I can turn off the AC all remotely and then vice versa. We can turn those back on there as well. Our inverter should kick in here in just a sec there it goes i reckon this app is a, is the hero there as well just gives a whole lot more vers versatility around how you can use this guy but i don't know what do you think let me know in the comments down below what do you think of kind of the integration of all of this i think it's pretty cool but let me know what you think down below well there you go guys that is the quick review overview of ecoflow's new delta 2 power bank now like always thank you very much to the patrons of video show me how thank you very much for your support guys if you're interested in any of that sort of stuff interested in supporting the channel a little bit more and playing a part in the giveaways that we do over there head on over to patreon.com forward slash video show me how but other than that guys as always i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next video cheers guys